Alright, let's take a look at this. Alright, so in Revelation 20, it says, They shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with Him a thousand years. So, are we priests of God and of Christ right now? It's very important, because if we are, then we are definitely in this thousand year period. And if you're not, then you're in trouble. But let's take a look at Exodus 19, verse 6. If you recall, Exodus 20 is when the Ten Commandments are given to Moses. All right, Exodus 19, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So the people of God are a kingdom of priests. In 1 Peter chapter 2, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And then real quickly, if you're confused about, is this talking about Jews or Christians? Uh, we Christians are the holy people of God. Back then, it was um, the, the people of God was isolated, if you will. Now it's scattered, and it's available for everybody. So if we go to, oh, what is that, Matthew? Oh. Let me see, I can't remember nothing. So let's look at it. Matthew 21, verse 43. Therefore, Jesus, therefore say I, Jesus, unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. So this is essentially the transition from the old covenant to the new covenant. Um, now uh, the nation of God is no longer an isolated group of people, rather... Uh, the nation of God is available to all that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so it's real simple. It's not it's not rocket science, but just in case, because um, there are people confused about it. Now let's go to Revelation chapter one, verse six, and has made us kings and priests unto God and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now this is indisputable. Right? I mean, come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that heareth the word or hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So there's no question about it. We are priests of God and of Christ, as it describes in Revelation 20. 
And they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So we are, right now, today, we that are saved, are priests of God and of Christ. And we do reign with Christ today, right now. So there should be absolutely no confusion on this subject if you just simply read the Bible and believe the Bible that you hold in your hands is from God. It's that simple.